and sit down. and welcome to another edition of the Rural Report. I am your Rural 2IC and we're just going to do a quick uh, short video. Um, being a part of a lot of different prepping communities and a lot of different prepping channels, I read a lot of comments and, and help out and give advice, you know, where I feel that I can give proper advice. Um, one of the things that kind of stuck out to me that I am definitely seeing all over the place is um, the people that I don't know if they're doing it with good intentions or, you know, what they're doing. But um, one of the examples I'll share is somebody was asking about bartering items. And, you know, you have a few people on there that, that list out things, you know, uh, sugar, salt, um, things like alcohol, cigarettes, um, you know, all, all sorts of things like that. And, you know, it's one of those things that when something happens and you know we we get to a situation where we have to do bartering um nobody really knows you can go off history and say oh you know spices will be it or you know you can't make salt so you know you'll you'll have to have salt and things like that but the truth of it is is nobody knows you know you're taking your best guess and so to see people literally you know, start being keyboard warriors and, and fight, you know, no, I'm right and you're wrong. Um, you know, that that's definitely not what we need in a community like this. You know, this is a preparedness community where you prepare and you make sure that you are going to survive. Then your family survives and then your community survives. And you have to be able to not lone wolf this because in order to rebuild society, humanity has to survive you know if you're going to lone wolf this where you don't trust anybody you know the the saying that uh, kindness will get you killed is a very dangerous thing while in some situations that that may definitely be true we have to also be careful that you know you look back into history on things like the american civil war once the war was over the guy that was shooting at you or you was you know shooting at him your neighbors suddenly, you know, you have to go back to, you know, things are, it's over. We have to go back to, you know, the way things were. So, you know, my biggest thing that I guess this is video is going to really be about is it's, it's great to ask for advice and ask questions. And, you know, there, there might be a newcomer that maybe just joined or maybe only has six months in, you know, the prepping thing but they have really great ideas you know you don't know what their background is or or anything like that and you may have somebody that's been in their 10 years but maybe they you know gotten their information a little you know mixed up or it works for them but it won't work for you you know um when you go into anything say something as easy as like gardening well the way that i'm going to garden up here in ohio is going to be very different from, you know, somebody down in, in Texas or, you know, something like that. The climate's different. The soil is different. You know, we can grow different crops. The way that I'm going to grow something to the way that you would grow something is going to be different. So my advice will be somebody that is in my area, but it's not going to work for you. So I guess what this whole video is going to be, please ask if you don't know, you know, this channel is basically going to be more about the people that are uh, just getting started and kind of like prepping for beginners you know this is going to be more of the fundamentals getting you started you know maybe reigniting your flame that you've been in this a while and you just kind of maybe uh let the flame burn out so to speak so i guess on this one do your research you know don't just ask take the very first thing that somebody says that that's the absolute truth that's the way that this is you know, you, you need to take and, and ask a couple of different people. 
you know, especially if you're just asking on the internet, you know, that goes back into the whole thing of just because you read it on the internet, it must be true. You know, that's, that's the furthest thing from the truth. So, you know, ask multiple people, ask, you know, somebody that you do, that you do know, that you don't know, I ask, you know, different things and then, and then take each one of those and go research for yourself, try them out, you know, see what, see if it actually does work. And then you get to be that person that, you know, when the question gets asked that you can go, Hey, you know, from experience, this didn't work for me. And here's why, you know, I hate to see those ones where people come on and, and they give out an answer and they just say, no, it doesn't work. Don't do that. Well, why, you know, maybe the re the way that, you know, you did it is what made it fail. Maybe where you live is the reason why it failed. Maybe it will work for me, you know? So I would say that, you know, when you give out advice or when you receive advice, look for the thought process behind it. Look for the entire process of how they did it and why, you know, it worked or it didn't work. Make sure it's going to work for you. And then put it to the test too. And some of the things that, you know, when people ask about things, make sure that, you know, you have something to go on. Don't go on, you know, well, in an EMP that is going to take down the entire, you know, power grid of the U.S., this is definitely going to happen. It's never happened before. You know, we're all guessing. As far as my knowledge, there's never been a real world huge test with modernized equipment. There's been little lab tests, but, you know, as far as I know, nobody knows what's going to happen. You know, there, there's some pretty smart people that have pretty smart guesses, but beyond that, you know, I, I guess we'll see if it ever happens, what really does happen. So again, do your research, make sure you just don't take, you know, the, the guy off the internet or the girl that tells you something that it, it's true, you know, don't base it off that research, learn, do make sure it works for you. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll try and get back to as many people as I possibly can. You know, this is the whole reason that I created this channel is to try and help as many people as possible. So like, subscribe, share this out with people, and uh, we'll try and help you through this. But above all, just remember, remain united because we're all prepping in this together. Thanks.